it's Casey so I'm gonna try and get two videos shot for you one is kind of um, a com combination of two hauls and then the other is another part of that really large haul um, that I got from eBay and the other hauls are from eBay too I do a lot of buying from eBay so um, I'm gonna try and do those tonight and but it'll probably be in a day or two before they get um uploaded so i'm gonna flip you around and we'll get right into it okay so this was one haul that i got it was some swarovski flatbacks and i actually won only one of these i think it was this one actually um for 750 and then the shipping was 750 as well and um so it was a little over fifteen dollars actually so it was a little past 750 but um the seller then contacted me and told me that she had changed shipping options um to priority shipping and so it was only going to cost three dollars to ship my item and so she said she could offer me one of two options she can either include this other lot which had not sold um, or she could refund my shipping and I said the other lot would just be fine because I was really trying to um, increase my Swarovski flatback collection because I really have hardly any at all so this one's the one I I actually won so I'll show you these there was this one it's like a teal emerald kind of color it is more blue than it's showing up, but there are some blues and some greens. Then there's this one. It's two types of purples. One's like a tanzanite and the other's like a plum. Then there was these ones. They're just plain jet black. And these are all glue-ons in this set. Then there was this one. Um, there's some purple tanzanite kind of color and... Um, some blue and some pink and they have different sizes in there then this one was like there's sapphire blue and there's like a light sky blue in there and they have three different sizes and then this one is like a champagne color and it is all the same size so there's those then this is the lot that I got basically for free I mean she would have refunded my shipping but uh, I didn't really win this lot but she said she had said it didn't sell so on the top there's this pack with a few pearls and some bicones in different sizes and the pearls are pink then I got another one of these purple tanzanite colors like one's plum and one's like a tanzanite then another of these jet blacks <clears throat> a bright crystal color um a crystal ab which it's funny because i just bought this exact pack from hobby lobby and it was listed as 9.99 and it was half off so i paid five something for it and i paid seven for all of these then this is another one of those champagne type color ones and three millimeter so most of them are glue-ons they're just um flat backs and then there's this one pack with some pearls and, and crystals in it so that was this haul i'm gonna pause you and i will bring out the next haul okay so this is the next part i've actually been needing to shoot this for a long time i got this back in november and I paid $15 for the entire thing, plus some shipping. But it was an entire bag full of gemstones. So I'm going to get this out and we'll show you what's in here. Okay, so first there's this strand of Millefiori glass. And they're twisted tubes. So they're very pretty. It really makes the um, flower prints do interesting things with the twisting. So I love that. So there's that. And 
there is this strand of blue quartz and it is actually more like a teal blue than what it's showing up in the camera or an aqua blue um it looks a little more blue in the camera i see but it's an aqua blue but they are fairly large let me see actually let me get my caliper out These are a 9 millimeter, so probably should have been a 10 millimeter, but not quite. Um, there's this strand, and it's coral. It's beautiful. And these are a 4 millimeter. And it says it's a 5.5 inch strand. Then there was this great big gemstone egg. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It's very heavy. It's cold. But it's beautiful. It has lots of little flecks of sparkles in it. I love it. So I'm going to set that one up there. Here is another blue quartz strand. Um, as four millimeters. Very beautiful love them and they match that here is a cherry quartz strand in rice shape they're rice beads and it's saying that they this is their four millimeter and this is a six inch strand there's that. This appears to be something someone was trying to start making of a necklace. There are some rose quartz on it. There's some... Um, some of these look like amethyst and some look like glass. So, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even on the camera, really. So these kind of look like amethyst, but over here... They look like glass, but they are cold. So I'm not sure exactly. There's a few pearls on here too, but it's all on wire. So then there are these. So there's a few in a bag. I actually used two strands of these. So, because I've had them since November, but they're these turquoise slash halite. There's still three strands in it, a few left in this bag, um, and I used two whole strands. So there was five of those. Um, here is some rose quartz. They're supposed to be probably the 10 millimeter again, although I bet they're still nine. But very pretty. I kind of move these over just a tad for you. Some more of that rose quartz in uh, a uh, six millimeter. So they're very pretty. They're a little darker color than that one. There are these strands of round coin beads. They're supposed to be imitation turquoise. They're probably halite or magnesite. Here's this strand of freshwater pearls that have been coated in a yellow. Um, I'm not positive what these ones are called. Um, they might be Millifiori. I don't know for sure. They sort of look like it on the side. Um, but they're a glass. And it was a broken necklace. 
so I had that clasp there but still very pretty here are these strands of green jade um, one's only a half strand but that's okay they're very pretty as well, and they're in like an oval shape. Ooh, let me show you guys this one. This one is super sparkly. Love it. Here is this strand of Unikite Briolettes. They're gorgeous. And I didn't have anything like these, so... Glad to have those. Here's a strand of green freshwater pearls. They're like a lime green color. They're very pretty. Here is a very long strand of bronze freshwater pearls so and it's very very long I would say it's over it's about 30 inches okay here's a bag of a silverish Slightly purple, actually. Um, freshwater pearl. Oh, antique silver is what they're calling these. Here's some freshwater rice pearls that are in, like, a metallic blue with an iris. Got another bag of those antique silver freshwater pearls. Then this was a broken necklace, but it's a mixture of amethyst, possibly fluorite, and quartz. There's the necklace part of it. It's broken, but they're chips. Then this pendant was at the bottom, and it's actually broken here, but I think I could do something to make it look nice again, and it's beautiful. I love it. And it's a rose quartz as well. Okay, then there's a few more pieces, and they are, there's this little donut here that is a quartz. There's a slice. Feels like agate. The only problem with this is that there is not a hole that I can see. Okay. There's this smaller slice. It feels like agate as well. There's this slice. And they're all gemstones. I just don't know exactly what kind. Here's this slice. Or, I mean, not slice. This donut. And it's probably a jade. But it's very pretty. And then, last but not least, there was this hematite bear. I thought he was super cute. So, there are those. Those are the two lots I was going to do. Just to show you kind of what I had got lately. Um... In, in so uh thank you for watching this um if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel please consider subscribing and if you guys could give me a like that would be great that's what youtube uses to decide whether or not they are going to share things on youtube all right thanks guys bye